we are moving on into some conversations more focused on, you know, International Women's Day and so on. And then, of course, what better way to especially get our young people involved than um, hosting an International Women's Day debate. And this is being hosted by the Assembly Legislature. And to just give us some perspective on it, we have Ms. Sophia Cooper. Good morning and welcome to you. How are you? Good morning and, of course, welcome to your viewers. Thank you for having me. Great. So tell me a little bit about the International Women's Day debate that is being planned. International Women's Day debate, we actually started this last year and we thought it was such a good way to get women involved in conversations that we can then project to the general public. So it's tomorrow at the Assembly Legislature Chamber on Jerningham Street at 1.30 p.m. And we're inviting members of the public to join us in person. There's a public gallery that's open to everyone or join us online or on television for the broadcast. Now, why do we want to have an International Day debate? It's important for us to have conversations about our democracy at every single level. And so the Assembly Legislature thought launching something called the People's House would be the perfect vehicle to mm. do that. Now, the idea is that, of course, we have the Westminster system of government. Every five years, we vote for in national elections. Every four years, the THA elections. But what about people who have important ideas, suggestions, solutions that they would like to put forward? The People's House is an opportunity for members of the public to participate in our democracy. And so we're launching the People's House on International Women's Day this Wednesday. Great. So is there any theme for this year's debate? Yes. So you know that the international theme for International Women's Day is digital innovation and technology for gender equality. And that's a very interesting topic, you know, because mm -hmm. what we found is those persons who are going to be participants in tomorrow's debate, you kind of have to juggle with the idea, well, if it's digital and we all have access to the same portals, then how is gender equality an issue? And mm -hmm. so what we look at are the actual numbers. So we know internationally, when we look at artificial intelligence careers, only 22% are women. When we look at 133 of those AI systems across the world, 44% of women experience mm -hmm. gender bias. And the numbers go up. When it comes to journalists, their online work, 73% of them experience online violence. So there is this space that we probably have to explore in more detail about what happens when women participate in the, in, in the technology and in innovation space, whether it's online, um, at work, for NGOs, etc., And to stick a point right there, we wanted to have a cross-section of participants. So we asked the members of the assembly to choose a woman from their constituency mm. to represent that area. But we also asked NGOs to also choose a representative. So here we have a conversation with people not only representing their area, but also representing interest groups. And they too have a very important part to play in how gender equality plays out. Certainly. So how many people are we speaking about that will be given presentations tomorrow? So we're aiming to have about 10 participants presenting. Now the house can hold about 19 and all those seats will be filled mm -hmm. and we expect that the public gallery as well will be filled after today because we're <laughs> encouraging the public to join us at 130 Jenningham Street at the assembly chamber so yes we have debaters who will be coming from various constituencies and we have debaters who are representing NGOs in Tobago all right, great. And I mean, I mean, earlier you also touched on that. And I think, I, I mean, of course, I'm a little bit biased here <laughs> because that idea of, you know, journalists, female journalists facing that online criticism. And, you know, like earlier um, on the morning show, we dealt with someone that faced quite a lot of online, still is facing, actually right now is very facing some online criticism and whatnot for her decisions. Um, you know, I mean, I want to talk a little bit about, I mean, if you're, if you're willing, you know, um, that idea that it seems as though women in general, we get blasted a lot more than men do 
when it comes to um, social media and online platforms? You know, I like that that is the direction in which you, you just took the conversation. I think it's difficult for people to see that that is in fact true. Mm. And that's why I went straight to the statistics. So we see that in 125 countries, 73% of women who are journalists experience online violence. This is not just Sophia saying this. Yes. And this is not just Candace saying this. And I mean, this I is think the United all, Nations saying this. And I think any female journalist would tell you that we've all faced some sort of you know, pushback and stuff like that. So we, we've, we've had the negative stuff thrown at us way more freely than you would see thrown at men. Right. And, you know, we had conversations with male counterparts about this particular topic because sometimes people mm. tell you, but there isn't. I'm not seeing it. Mm. Is it true? <laughs> yeah, the UN says 73%, but that, that's probably not correct. The thing is, it is. And sometimes not being in the situation as a woman you don't see it. So yeah. now we have to have a deeper conversation. And so when we talk about gender equality, we can't talk about gender equality without men. And so when we talk about having the debate tomorrow, we did in fact speak with um, men in our office mm. about what this topic means. And it was interesting to see their take on it. And so there was a little back and forth and our own internal debate about what, you know, yeah. what the topic really means. And, from a man's point of view versus a woman's point of view. And that's what we need. When we talk about democracy, mm -hmm. we're talking about people having a say in the solutions that apply to their life. Mm -hmm. And so tomorrow's debate is extremely, extremely important as we launch the People's House. So it's not just International Women's Day. We're talking about providing an avenue throughout the year for people to participate in their democracy. So are we going to see um, as days like this, you know, because we have a lot of days that, that, that um, turn our attention to various causes and various issues within our society that we need to pay attention to. Now, are we going to see more of these debates happening for those, those days or, 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 or um, you know, teams and stuff like that? Yeah. Definitely. Now, the idea is to have everybody participate in some way. So, you know, sometimes we have a debate and people participate by commenting online, and that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. We read all the comments. <laughs> yes. yes, we, we read, read them we all. Read all the <laughs> <laughs> now, in addition to that, we want to hear people talk about what their issues are. And the Assembly Legislature has something called petitions. Mm -hmm. Petitions is a way to solicit um, concerns from members of the public. So you could send in, you know, um, an idea for a motion, and then that motion gets support from other members of the public. Let's say you put it on, um, you, you, put, you send it out through a petition, and we get maybe 5,000 persons supporting um, that particular um, topic. Mm -hmm. And so we can then create the space for that debate to take place. We're talking about fisher folk, youth. We're talking about teachers creatives, anybody that you could think about, we want to be able to give them that space to have that debate. Now, people might be saying, oh, it's just a debate. You come and you talk, etc." But remember, every debate that we have at the Assembly Legislature is recorded in our hands. That. And our library, which is the uh, Members Library and Information Center, is a special library under NALIS. And it's the only place in the country that has the Hansard records for the Tobago House of Assembly. Mm -hmm. It means that every single word you utter, every single word, is recorded, recorded in our Hansard. It means that 100 years from now, people can look back and say, but wait, we were supposed to do this. Why didn't it happen? Mm -hmm. Or next week from now, people will say, but OK, this is the proof that people actually agreed that this is the solution. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing about it. There's right. accountability, transparency, participation, and it's all about our democracy. Has any member of the public ever participated in that pu pu public motion? It's something that we want to encourage people to do. And we've had people in the past who've come to us and said, you know what, we should have a motion on, on this particular topic or mm -hmm. that particular topic. But the system has to be robust enough to take that um, 
to take that idea on. So that's what we're doing right now. We're creating yeah. a digital platform to encourage people to use petitions and then we create motions for them to have debates. And yes, we're talking about the theme digital, <laughs> yes, digital innovation and technology for gender equality. So there you have it. Right. And of course, certainly the system can't work without the people making it work. Exactly. And participatory democracy is a term that we use from time to time, which simply means having people participate in their democracy. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for the next four years, five years to and say something. And don't just comment online. There you go. Don't just comment online, people. Be a part, be a part of the decision making process. That's right. All right. All right. So give us the details as to when and where, what time is it taking place tomorrow? The International Women's Day debate hosted by the Assembly Legislature takes place tomorrow. Uh, that's Wednesday, the 8th of March, 2023, at 1.30 p.m. at the Assembly Legislature Chamber, as I said, Jenningham Street, Uptown. And everyone is invited to attend. We have a public gallery waiting just for you, and there is a cocktail right after for us to socialize and really engage one another on the topics that we're facing today. And is it all open only to women or? Of course not. Okay, men I Everybody. encourage to come as well. <laughs> Definitely. All right, great. So viewers, there you have it. I mean, it's a wonderful topic, you know, um, just exploring, you know, women in, and how we mix with the digital world, where is the equity and so on. It's a lot of very pertinent topics. And now it's, we're looking forward to hear from our people, you know, just just some of the um, the members of our public just coming out and saying their piece. Their voices need to be heard too. Definitely so. so. Thank you so much, Sophia, for being Welcome. on with us. And we're looking forward to it tomorrow at 1.30. All right, viewers, well, that's how we end in this segment. But don't go anywhere because we have a lot more coming up for you on the program. Jamaica updates. Na -na 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 -na.